Dear people of God, today is the fifth Sunday of the year in no ordinary time. This is the day that the Lord has made, and so we rejoice in it because it is his gift to us. As we begin our reflection, I would like to share with you an observation that I have made in our country, Kenya. Of late, the media has focused its attention to needy students reporting to Form 1. For instance, there is a case of a boy who walked 57 kilometers from his home to his new school. And some people responded to this needy case and provided. Many patients in different parts of the world have come up because they cannot meet their medical bills and have requested the public to assist them. All these cases that we find all around the world are in harmony with the first reading whereby the prophet Isaiah is inviting us to move out, to reach out to the needy, to the poor, to the hungry, to those who are naked and clothe them, to those who are homeless, to all those needy cases. As we listen to the word of God today, the question that we would ask ourselves is, what needy case do I have in my hands, in my village, wherever I work, that I can use my resources to assist? The word of God today challenges us to reach out to the needy, to reach out to people that need God's mercy, to be sources of hope, to give life. And when we give hope, when we reach out to these needy cases, God is happy. And Isaiah is telling us, when we help other people, God will in turn hear our cry when we cry out to him, God will in turn hear our prayer. The good that we do comes back to us, not just to that person. And no wonder the Kiswahili song goes, Uno pote ndewe mam, wanji tende ya mwenyewe. Uno pote nda maovu, wanji tende mwenyewe. The good you do comes back to you. The evil you do comes back to you. And so God is inviting us to do that which is good to the other. In the gospel reading, Jesus is calling his followers salt of the earth and light of the world. The question that one would ask is, why is Jesus using the symbols of salt and light? In the African context, salt is used in two many ways, and not just in the African, but commonly salt is used to preserve. In the African community, especially in the rural areas where there are no fridges, no freezers, people use salt to preserve foods and especially to preserve meat. And so the question for you and me is, what is God calling us today as we listen to his word to preserve? Is it my Christian faith? Is it the lives of others? Is it that child that is uh, vulnerable to trafficking, to human trafficking? Is it that needy case that needs my attention? Is it my Christian values, my Christian identity? God is calling us to preserve something that is good for his own glory. Secondly, salt is used to give flavor. It gives taste. Again, the question for you and me is, what taste, what meaning am I making? What meaning am I giving to the lives of those around me? What kind of taste am I giving out to the people in the school where I spend my day, to 
the patients with whom I interact, to that church community, to the small Christian community, in the parliament. The question is, for me, for you as a religious woman, what impact are you making to the people around you? As a priest, as a brother, as a lay person, as a religious man, what impact are you making to the people around you? And so salt adds flavor. And so our lives, likened to salt, should give meaning, should add flavor, should bring peace, should bring healing to the people's lives. And this was the ministry of Jesus. And we as his followers are sharers in this ministry, whereby we are invited to become sources of hope, sources of peace, where we are invited to give meaning to people's lives. Jesus today is reminding us that we are the light of the world. We are the light. We are supposed to hold this candle that we received at baptism. And so as light of the world, as light of the people, as light of the community in whose life we share, we are called to become role models. We are called to lead people to that true light, Christ the Lord. Dear people of God, let us today pray that God fills us with his spirit to enable us to become more sensitive to the needs of the people around us. May the peace of our Lord remain with us and the people that we serve. God bless you.